Welcome back to our channel, folks. Today, we have an interesting topic to discuss, the Tabor. Tabor is a term that has garnered attention in the realm of economics and politics, and we're here to shed some light on what it actually means. So, what does Tabor mean? Tabor stands for Taxpayers' Bill of Rights. It's a concept that was first implemented in Colorado, USA, in 1992, but variations of it have been adopted in other states as well. Tabor is a fiscal policy that aims to protect taxpayers by placing certain limitations on government revenue and expenditure. The underlying principle is to give taxpayers more control over their tax burden and government spending decisions. Now, let's delve into the key components that define Tabor. Firstly, Tabor establishes restrictions on taxation. It typically requires that any proposed tax increase or new tax must be approved by the voters through a referendum. This means that the taxpayers themselves have the power to decide whether they want to bear additional tax burdens. Secondly, Tabor puts limitations on government spending. It sets specific guidelines on how government revenue can increase over time. In many cases, the growth of government spending is tied to a combination of population growth and inflation rates. This helps ensure that government expenditures align with the economic conditions and the size of the population. Lastly, Tabor often includes provisions for refunds or rebates. If government revenues exceed the predetermined limits set by Tabor, the excess funds may be returned to the taxpayers in the form of tax refunds or rebates. This mechanism ensures that the government doesn't accumulate surplus funds beyond what is deemed necessary. So, in a nutshell, Tabor is a fiscal policy that empowers taxpayers by granting them a voice in tax decisions and imposing restrictions on government spending. It aims to strike a balance between funding necessary government services and protecting taxpayers from excessive taxation. And there you have it, the meaning of Tabor. We hope this video helped you understand this important concept in economics and politics. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.